God bless you all as you join us today. Those of you watching on Apostolic TV, God bless you. Today is our intercession against interdiction. Hey, Amen. Okay, take it, take it. Intercession against interdiction. <laughs> what does it mean by interdiction? Mm. Amen. Mm. Interdiction, according to the dictionary, is the action of forbidding or prohibiting something from happening. Hey. The action of for forbidding or prohibiting something from happening. And we are praying against such happening in the life of Christians Jesus. today. In the lives of believers, there are many things, many actions, many things prohibiting us from serving God faithfully, mm. from interceding for one another. Mm. Amen. Amen. Apostles preached on this altar and told us that intercession is standing in the gap. Amen. And praying for someone else. We've gone through five nights of different form of intersection hey, and how we can engage that to bring about a better praying life a better impact in our interceding life amen, amen. my message today specifically is the intercession of a praying woman hey. the intercession of a praying woman i want us to have an understanding of what it means as a woman to pray for others it is good for all of us to intercede but there is a particular interest and an a particular importance for a woman to pray for others amen there is an importance on women praying and that's the revelation i bring to you today through the grace of god in the name of jesus i want you to turn your bible quickly to the book of proverbs chapter 1 verse 8 proverbs 1 verse 8 is a popular scripture that apostles always touch on in this ministry amen proverbs 1 verse 8 it said my son hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother the importance is the second verse of that scripture forsake not the law of thy mother this scripture tells us the importance and the power of the words of a woman amen especially a mother you hear of how people talk about a praying mother but to be a mother you first have to be a woman right so we need to touch on the importance of a praying woman a woman that intercedes goes into battle not only for herself for but for those around her for her children a household a husband amen for her friends her co-workers church members a woman praying stands in the gap because they don't see us coming amen hey. they do not see us coming they they think of women as a weaker vessel hey. you can't stand in battle but the, the woman that is on scene the woman that prays behind this scene amen is the woman that make waves hey. is the woman that break chains is the woman that set apart and put apart amen let's turn our bible quickly as well to the book of ephesians 6 verse 8 ephesians chapter 6 verse 8 if you're there i want you to shout a glorious hallelujah <laughs> ephesians 6 verse 8 i want you to engage with a positive attitude today because i believe you will live here as a changed woman especially women under the sound of my voice you will he leave this place radicalized and ready to intercede come rain come sun yes because one of the things prohibiting as you say interdicting against women praying are our emotions difficulties of life situations happening around us our husband not making us happy oh. can stop us from praying amen things happening around us jobs emotions low mood going through the time and and the season of the month mm. can stop us from really engaging what god has created us as women to do for ourselves not only for ourselves but for our children our household those in our community and the nation amen ephesians 6 verse 18 says praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watch it there unto with all perseverance and supplication of all saints i want you if you've got your bible and it's not borrowed i want you to underline the word with all perseverance and supplication of all all saints with all perseverance to persevere is to remain consistent to persevere is to continue pushing 
regardless of the season you're in, regardless of the time of the month that you're in. As women, we, we, we know what we mean by the time of the month. Mm. There are situations that we experience as women that men cannot understand, even if they, even if they try to understand. During the time of the month, we are very low mood. We don't want to do anything. There are things that just irritate our spirit. But God is saying, even in that season, even in that time of the month, do not sit in prayer. Do not stop praying because your words are law in the spirit not just in the physical your words are law it means everything you speak out of your mouth becomes a manifestation Amen. it means that a woman praying for a household a woman going into battle through intercession for a loved one for her friends for for those in a community for church members it means that what you say and what you speak the lord hear it and you come it brings to manifestation Amen. there are situations women will go through as a family wife or or a daughter or a sister there are challenges we face as women that plays with our mind plays with our self-esteem make us to stop doing what is necessary to bring about change not just for ourselves for those around us and those things are the things we're going to be praying against today amen yes, yes. those are the things prohibiting us from manifesting the true call of god upon our lives apostle has thought about why is god not using me and we we, we spoke mainly about women not being um, called into the forefront but the thing is even though we're not called to the forefront we are the backbone we are the one that make those in the forefront stand. Yes, Without Lord. us, there is no forefront. So so having that understanding brings about a new sense of responsibility mm. as a woman. It brings a new sense of, of desire, of My impact, God. of perseverance as a woman. It makes you want to push harder because... The Proverbs 31 woman, whenever I read that scripture, I think to myself, okay, she's done all of these things. I know we focus mainly on the words of how she clean, how she cook, how she does all these glorious things. But I said, there's no way a woman will have strength to do all of those things described in the book of Proverbs 31 if she wasn't praying. Shut because up. without prayer, there is no grace. Jesus. Without prayer, you cannot stand with strength. Jesus. And there is no way that woman can bring her husband to the city gate hey. if she wasn't praying. Marco there would be no man standing at no city gate if the woman was not ready Jesus. to wake up at dawn and pray for her husband. And speaking of Proverbs 31, I want us to turn our Bible quickly to the book of Proverbs 31. I'm going to be using that mainly to teach today. Amen. Proverbs 31, we all speak of that scripture, but I don't think we have a true understanding of what God was trying to teach us as a virtuous woman through that scripture. Amen? It's a very powerful scripture that teach so much on womanhood, motherhood, being able to stand against all odds. Amen? Amen. Proverbs 31 is a very popular Bible verse, and I want you to grab an understanding today. I'm going to start from the back, work my way back up. Amen. So Pro Proverbs 31 verse 30 says, verse 31, verse, sorry, chapter 31 verse 30 says, Favor is deceitful, beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. To fear God is to love God, and to love God is to spend time, intimacy with him. Being in that community, communing with him in one accord, amen. Michael. Meaning that you're there constantly, not just interceding for yourself, but interceding for others. A lot of the things described in this Bible passage, Proverbs 31, is described to us as a good wife, what makes a good woman, a virtuous woman, and what she did for others, amen. We're going to turn our Bible again to Proverbs 31, verse 16 and 17. I want you to hear this word. 16, 17 says, she considereth a field mm. and buyeth it, mm. and with the fruit of her hands, mm -hmm. she planted a vineyard. She gathered alliance with strength and strengtheneth her arms. Amen? Amen. She strengtheneth her arms. It means that whatever a woman set their heart to do, 
they will fulfill it. Mm. And I, when I rev- whenever I read that scripture, I always think of myself. Whatever I put in my mind to do, it might be delayed. It might take time. I don't know if many of you women under the sound of my voice, you make a to-do list in your mind. You have a target to eat for the day. Mm. And as you're going through the day, yes. you're like, yep, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. And before you know it, you've completed all the tasks in your mind to do. Even without paper, it is there and you get it done. So that is what I see from that scripture. She considered a field, meaning she saw something she wants to do mm. and she went for it. Hey. But she could not have had the strength to do it without prayer. And what she did there is not just for herself. It's for a household. It's for a community. It's for those that will benefit from it. Amen. It is being able to stand through all difficulty and making sure that you can achieve. Verse 20 and 21 says, She stretched out her hand to the poor. Mm. Yes, yeah, she reached forth her hands to the needy. Mm. Verse 21, She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed in scarlet. Mm. Again, if she was not praying for her household, would they have the ability to be able to be clothed in scarlet? Would they have the ability to be able to, to be, to, to, for her to reach out to the needy? You have to have provision for you to be able to reach out. Mm. That is what God is asking us to do as women today, to reach out to those around us, not just to focus on ourselves because we have the ability and the tendency as women to think inwardly, mm. what is not happening for me? Yes. What, is, what am I not achieving? What, have, what am I going through? But God is saying to somebody today, forget the I am or what I am. Forget it. Now focus on your neighbor. Yes. Focus on your sister. Focus on your brother. Focus on the husband that you have in your household. Focus on the children that God has blessed you with for mothers under the sound of my voice. Focus on them and pray for them. What you want to see happen, what you want to see achieved, can manifest through the words and the prayer of a woman. Amen? Amen. Let's turn our Bible quickly to the book of 1 Corinthians 11 verse 12. I'm using a lot of scriptures today because I want us to have a good understanding of what our prayer as women can do, not just for our household, but for our community, for our church. Imagine yes. women coming together and praying for the church. A woman carry a fertile land. Mm. You multiply. What you breathe and what you spend time doing will multiply. Amen. Amen. What you focus on as a woman will multiply. If mm. we focus on the negative things that are happening around us, it multiplies to greater things. Mm. If you focus on low self-esteem, that multiplies to jealousy. Mm. It multiplies to lack of trust. Mm. It multiplies to constantly questioning everyone around you and questioning your mind. So if we take the positive things of this world and focus on them, one being interceding for others, let's focus our mind on interceding seeding yes. for our household for our children that's for right. them. that will allow you to persevere in that thing mm. and imagine what can be born from you just interceding and the fruits you will see thereof imagine interceding for others and focusing on a sister or a brother going through a challenge Jesus. and you put it upon yourself as a focus Master. that I am going to pray this sister out of this situation. Hey! And you focus on it. And you see that sister come out of that situation. Oh you see them go to a better place. How rewarding would it be yeah, that you're not focusing on yourself, but yet God is answering your prayer. God is answering your cry. And as you are interceding for someone else, someone else can also be interceding for you. Amen? That is what God is asking us to do in this season. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 12. It says, For as a woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman, hey. but all things of God. So meaning that women are from the man, first creation, right? But now men are born of women, hey, Kazuzia. meaning that men come out of women. So as God has given us that privilege and that power to be able to give birth to men and giants, it means that we have to sustain them in prayer. There is nothing you can do of yourself without prayer. And by praying for that man, 
praying to see that man not just a man in the form of husband but praying for your brother praying for someone that you know that is a man praying for your children mm. male boys praying for their growth mm. praying for their sustainability yes, praying for their mind praying for them to grow in the way of the lord and fulfilling purpose yes. that is what god is crying out for us to do today luke 1 verse 45 says and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken of her mm. from the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed is her Hallelujah. that believes in the fulfillment of what is spoken of her from the Lord. So meaning that whatever you ask of the Lord, the Lord will bring it to manifestation. Amen. God will bring it to pass. Amen. Psalms 46 verse 5. This is one of my favorite scripture. It says, God is in the midst of her. Mm. She shall not be moved. Amen. God will help her when the morning dawns amen? amen meaning that no matter what you're going through having that consciousness that god is in the midst of me as a woman god is in the midst of me meaning that what i say god will honor amen. what i speak god will bring to manifestation yes, Lord. that's why when whenever especially men when they go through situations where the 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 playing around women <laughs> the maltreating women do you know that a cause of a woman stands how many of you knew that when you play around with women you're sleeping with different different women and breaking their heart oh. all along the way and the woman cursed the man the curse stands do you understand why the curse stands because the words are law and if she feels pain from within god loves us women he doesn't want us to feel any form of pain. Mm. He doesn't want us to feel any form of heartache. Mm. He doesn't want us to be broken. So when we cry to him and we cry to the Lord oh, in that anguish, in that pain, he heareth our voice. He, he hears our cry and he honors our words, whether it be curse or, <laughs> or truth. So us women, <laughs> we need to be very watchful of our tongue watchful of what we say Zipala. and women under the sound of my voice those married be careful what you speak against your husband your words manifest mm. they they come to pass you might not necessarily be praying it could just be an anger moment mm. in that anger god hears it and even the enemy hears it mm. and they honor such cry mm. so be careful how you speak do not speak out of tone mm. in some situation i know you can be angry mm. i know things can get you down to a place where you want to curse Preach. i'm beseeching you today mm. instead of cursing intercede intercede for a change mm. intercede and cry out that the lord will touch the heart of that person i also have given testimonies of times where i've been upset about a situation i'm trying to bring him to an understanding and he's not understanding me what do i do i go on my knees and i cry to the lord and one way or the other i don't know how true <laughs> this is one way or the other it will come back and and do what i am desiring hey! and that is me knowing my place Holy is knowing that i am not the leader of myself Holy i Lord. cannot move situation by myself mm. meaning that if i intercede to the lord yeah. concerning that matter Master. concerning that situation yes, yes, yes. god will bring it to manifestation yeah. it doesn't matter how long it takes yeah, it doesn't matter what the situation may be exactly. it's having an understanding yes. and knowing who you are Sorry. as a woman a woman need to know that a voice a word a, a, the thing that comes out of her tongue yes is power it changes situation having that understanding meaning that you're in a situation where there's financial troubles mm. do not fret go on your knees in prayer mm. and you will see god make way i have a personal testimony as well of why this has happened to me i pray a lot most of you that know <laughs> this commission you know i'm a praying woman there was a time where we lost the building in kitchen and i remember the charge that came in after we lost the building was going close to thirty thousand pounds and i said lord where would we get this kind of money at that point apostle was broken it was going through a, a season where i as a, myself could not understand I was a new mom i just gave birth a couple of weeks before then and i said to myself i can either sit here and cry or i can go on my knees and pray 
And I said, you know what? No matter the situation, let me cry first. Cry away the tears first. And I spent days just crying. I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried. After the tears passed, I said, now it's time to go to war. Because sometimes, you know, you cannot go to war and be ill-prepared. You need to be ready mentally to go into war. That's right. So I had to cry away the tears first to get rid of the emotions that I'm feeling. So when I enter that war zone, war room, I am ready to fight. And I enter that war room and I prayed. Even when I was praying, it was funny. Apostle came and said, what are you doing? I said, I'm praying this money away. I don't care how, but I am praying it away. And I believe God will hear me. Amen. And I went on my knees and I prayed. And I prayed. As I was praying, I was also putting things into works. The companies that have written with the bills, I was sending them emails. I said, the God that I serve said, you will just write this off. I am not paying this bill. And I kept on praying. And lo and behold, one afternoon, I just received an email saying, firstly, we wanted to apologize. Mm. We didn't know you were going through such situation. We're writing up 7,000. Hey! I said, Father, Jesus! You have brought the victory. Hey! And the first person that wrote back to say they were writing this 7,000 was a landlord to that property. Katotolo. And that man, those that have met him, ha, they know that it wasn't an easy man to get rid of. It was a man that said, I'm coming for you and I'm going to get you. But God gave me another way. He gave me a strategy to write the letter and, and email them things to say and what not to say. But whilst I'm doing the physical side of things, I am also interceding behind the scenes. I was praying and praying and praying. I did not stop praying till I saw results. And when I saw that first result, that first email came through, that that amount was written off, that was us cleared of the building in itself. And I just give God praise. Yes, and from Lord. that moment, interceding has become my second nature. Hey, that's awesome. Whenever I feel troubled, whenever I feel pain, whenever I feel something is wrong, I intercede. And I feel like God built us, us women to intercede. There might be challenges around you, situations around you, that you're feeling and you're thinking, why is this happening to me? The question is, why not you? God is making it happen around you because you have a power on your tongue to speak the word of change. I thought somebody heard that. I said, God is speaking to you to speak the power, to speak the word of change. Amen. And change begins to manifest. Yes, yes, yes. Things begin to turn around. Yes. Things begin to change in mm. the direction that you want to see it happen. The same for when I was trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Mm. It took three years. Apostle, I've given testimonies many times about it. But through prayer is what kept me. Yeah, prayer was what sustained me. Mm. But the truth was, I wasn't praying for myself. I was praying for other women looking for the fruit of the womb. For myself, I didn't have the strength to pray. I'd given up. I said, you know what? God will do it whenever he does it. But I focused on others. That's right. Wanting to get married. I'm also share the testimony of where I will go into 21 days fasting with a friend, trusting God for marriage. Now she's happily married with two children. That in itself is a testimony to me. But during that 21 days of prayer, it was painful. It was hard. It was like, God, why are you choosing me to be praying for others? But God has called us women to intercede, especially in the areas of marriage, in the areas of childbearing, in the area of finances, in the area of hope, in the area of strength, courage, in the area where it requires us to build one another up. And that's one thing women are lacking in this generation, to build up ourselves in prayer, to be able to inter interject for one another, to stop things from stopping us from achieving, from climbing up, from, from rising to where God wants us to be. Amen? Amen. We are now going to pray for against interdiction of praying women. Amen? I want us to rise as we say this prayer point. Hey! Meaning that we're praying against every action. Yes, Lord. Forbidding or pro prohibiting us as women. And men under the sound of my voice don't think this is not applicable to you. If your woman prays for you, hey, hey, hey. things that you haven't seen happen, hey, things that you've been trusting God for, Jesus, you just see it's beginning to happen. Amen. So don't just look at it. You need to also pray for your woman. 
if you have a woman already if you don't have a woman already pray for the future woman that God will bless you hey. that the woman that God will bring your way will be a praying woman hey. will be a woman that intercedes for you hey. a woman that change situation and not complain yeah, because imagine the worst thing that can happen is having a woman that is not a praying woman hey. and you going through situation the woman will give you more headache hey. because they will mourn at the things not happening they will complain a situation not changing. The woman will give you more headache in the sense that you need to be a man and make things happen. Hey. But if you have a praying woman, they understand that there are powers beyond you. Thank you, Jesus. There are things that they, you yourself, cannot move. But until they pray, things begin to move for you. Yes. There are things that Apostle used to say here on this altar. He said there are some men that cannot fulfill destiny until they meet the right woman. Katoto. Until they marry and settle down. There is reasons for that. There is power in the praying woman. I want you to hear me, every woman under the sound of my voice. Your voice is important. Your voice can change situation. Amen. God has created your voice to be law. Happy girl in the scriptures, pray for a household. Pray for the men that she's connected to and stood before David. I don't care what the situation may be. I don't care the giants that have stand before you. Yes. What I am saying to every woman under the sound of my voice is that it is time to rise up. Hey. Every interdiction that has stopped you so far, no more shall it stand in your way. Yes, no more shall there be interdiction hey, concerning man. your destiny, concerning your ability to intercede, concerning the power and the ability to pray hey, for man. one another. In the name Jesus, Amen. I want you to open up your mouth now and begin to fire this prayer. My father, 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 my maker, my father, my maker. Oh Lord, oh Lord, everything, everything, every action, every action that has prohibited that me, that has prohibited that has me, forbidden me, that has forbidden me from opening my mouth, from opening my mouth and interceding, and interceding for my neighbor, for my neighbor, for my husband, for my wife, for my children, for my children, for my family. For my family, for my community, for my community, for my church, for my church, for my nation, for my nation. Oh Lord, oh Lord, destroy by the power of the Holy Ghost. Open up your heart and pray. Any sinner, any action that has prohibited you, stopped you as a woman from praying and interceding for your community, for your nation, for your household. Of those women right now 
I want you to open up your mouth and pray in one accord. Remember, it's one spirit. We're going to lift ourselves up in prayer. We're interceding. That's why we're here. So we're going to intercede for those women. I want you to open up your mouth. As you're under the sound of my voice, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my maker. My father, my maker. As we begin to pray tonight. As we begin to pray tonight. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Every woman under the sound of our voice. Every woman under the sound of our voice. Every woman that desires to pray over. Every woman that desires to pray. Father, ignite the fire ignite today. Ignite the fire. Ignite the fire today, ignite Lord. Ignite the fire. Renew the strength, Lord. Renew the strength. We pray and it's a sin. We pray and it's a sin. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray. Let me 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 pray. Subscribe to a social media platform as follows on Facebook at the Apostolic Movement Church, at Prophet John Enuma Ministries, and at Prophet John Enuma. And you can also follow our First Lady, Reverend Josephine Enuma, by following at the Dynamic Womb Man. Stay connected to our Instagram page by following at Prophet John Enuma, at the Apostolic Movement Church for our church page. And to follow the First Lady Reverend Josephine Inuma like above, please do so by following at the Dynamic Obum Man. To receive daily motivational quotes, please stay connected to our Twitter account at Mr. John Inuma. And for the church page, please do so at the Apost Movement. That's the at APOS Movement. You can also subscribe at Apostolic TV to see our live services 
and to see behind the scenes footage of Prophet John and Newman Ministries family channel where you can have a laugh, please do so at VN Newman's. God bless you.